Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. A career in geoscience, to me, has been a bit of a roller coaster ride. I've traveled around the world and seen some cool places. I've studied intensely interesting topics. And I've had several deep existential crises questioning my life choices because of it. In this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts about geoscience as a career path. Before we get going, if you have any questions or concerns, or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. A few weeks ago, a student was talking to me about geophysics as a career path. She pointed out that I was doing well, and I said, Currently, yes, which got me thinking, hey, what a great idea for a video. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts about geoscience as a career path. Let's jump right in. First off, yes, it's a great career path. We do some amazing things on this planet as geoscientists. We use sound to see meters to tens of meters to tens of kilometers into the Earth. We help discover energy sources like oil and gas and thermal energy. We help discover energy and mineral sources to make the world go around. We figure out how volcanoes work. We figure out plate tectonics. We can pick up rocks and tell you what it is. Except for me, I can't do that because I'm not a geologist. And if we look into space, we can do geoscience there. Seismic on the moon, on Mars, on asteroids. In all seriousness, though, it's a pretty good career path if you like hands-on science. A couple of the good benefits include reasonably good wage, being able to travel, getting outdoors if you like the hands-on and you get part of a field crew. All in all, it's a fairly good career angle until I come to my second answer. So my second answer is, no, it's not a good career path. Now, I'm saying that because I got burned in the last oil and gas downturn where I ended up unemployed for a little over a year. The oil and gas industry is cyclic in nature. I just happened to end up on the bad end of the cyclic. I ended up on the trough. I missed the peak. Also, I feel that the general public doesn't quite appreciate geoscience as it should. Drive the car? Geoscience. Use the phone? Geoscience. Eat bananas while it's snowing? Geoscience. But then there's the negatives that the general public understands. Global warming. Oh, sorry, I mean climate change. Geoscience. Pollution. Geoscience. Why are my bananas so expensive? Geoscience. It's not all doom and gloom, of course. You know, if I had actually ridden the wave of the oil industry, I probably wouldn't be able to say anything bad about it. Which brings me to the final answer, which I would say is more of the real answer about geoscience as a career path. Answer three, you gotta love what you're doing. If you love geoscience, then you'll probably have a great career out of it. So if you love it, you're gonna put more time into it, you're gonna plan how to do it, you're gonna be, do well at it, and you'll have a great and storied career because it will treat you well. But if you don't like what you do, you're gonna be sloppy, you're gonna be boring, and it's gonna be a horrible career path. If you are passionate about geoscience, you like to travel, you're willing to risk the ups and downs of a cyclic industry, then geoscience is for you. And those are my thoughts on geoscience as a career. It has served me well, I'm currently enjoying myself, but if I were you, I'd make sure I was passionate about what I do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.